gears from the head. They have a, they're wearing a headgear, armor. They're also wearing arm guards and shin guards. So one minute and four seconds to go in the Still first no round. points, Ricky. You know, the funny thing is here, the Korean fighter has this weird, um, if I may say, a little bit odd stance. A very good turning side, but it does not marry the point. He has this very, very relaxed stance. And he suddenly would just explode to a kick. Thirty-eight seconds to go in this first round on the men's featherweight division. Lead round Good house. exchange, but it's not strong enough. It does not register a point. The Iranian coach there. Counter forty-five. Okay. And Korea gets one point for that. Twenty seconds to go. Now, Carol, why was that a point? Because it uh, it basically hit the uh, legal part of um, the scoring area, which is the armor. And it was strong enough. And basically two referees were able to see that. A very Did good you hear that, Carol? Yeah. So that would mean another a one point for Iran. So one all, one all in the first round. So we can see there, Carol, the blue fighting area. It, it measures 8 by 8 meters. Yes. And on the scoreboard, again, one all for both. He would take a look at it, Ricky. On both sides, sometimes there would be a lighted dot. That would mean a warning. Or a 0.5 deduction. Korea's fighter earlier defeated Argentina with a 4 to 1 score. I'm sorry, it's a 4 to 4 score with a deduction from Argentina. A close call for him. So we see there Bijan Muganlo and his Iranian coach. We're about to begin the second round in the men's featherweight semifinals match. On your left is Korean fighter Byung Woo Kim and on the right is Bijan Muganlo. So Carl, for those who don't understand Taekwondo, how, how can you understand this sport? For example, that was an axic. Wasn't that a point? I don't think that was credited as a point at the moment because it wasn't strong enough. I you think be, it was... Basically, let's see the scoreboard. What's the score now? It's, oh, it does. Yes. It did register. Now it's 2-1. Two to one. 2 for Korea and 1 for Iran. At 2 minutes and 23 seconds to go in the second round. Another, another kick from the Korean. And now Korea leads again. Three points to one. Clearly a point there. We could see the Iranian's head tilting backwards. Okay, that's how you score here in this in the sport of Taekwondo. Actually, sometimes Ricky, you might think that it is um, a score, even if um, there is um, a sound on the armor. But for some reason, we need um, there there doesn't seem to be any scores because well, we need two referees to see it. That's right, Carol, and we have to allow. Uh, margin for human error that's the Iranian coach there and by the way how do you score this match Carol there are there are four corner referees right yes I think the Korean is starting to um, well he's going to make a turning side for that or a turning lock as a defense for the Iranian no Another exchange, no point. One minute and 15 seconds to go on the second round. Three to one in favor of Korea. Kim byung of Korea, the much taller fighter. He measures around 6'3". Featherweight, that's 64 kilograms or around 140 pounds. 50 seconds to go on the second round. Still 3-1 in favor of Korea so this is the second round of a three round match there is there are three minutes per round good exchange and Korea gets yes both players get that um, 
Now Korea has four, Iran has two, 20 seconds to go, second round. You're watching the men's featherweight division. They're basically scoring with roundhouse kicks to the body, wherein the instep hits the arm more flatly and makes a sound. If it doesn't make a sound, there's no point. Better known as the 45 degree 45 kick. 45 degree kick, that's right. And that's the end of the second round. Again, on the scoreboard, we see Korea with four points and Iran with just two points at the moment. We'll be back after these. Second round. No, we're about to begin the third round. In court A. Again, this is Korea versus Iran. Korea in the blue armor, Iran in the red armor. The score is 4-2 to two in lead of Korea. A good roundhouse kick. And Korea gets another point for that. 5-2. to two. I think looking for the day, um, Iran has only one more bet left. Who, who is that, Carol? And this is the same that guy. guy. Yes, same guy. that okay. guy. He's the only um, contender at the moment for the day. The coach of Iran. Carol, if you were a layman, how would you understand this sport? Okay, if you turn on the channel of your TV now, you see these two fighters. What are the rules in this sport? Well, frankly speaking, uh, as I would see it, every time they would kick within the armor and the headgear part, they basically get a point. But we should not confuse this uh, at this point because sometimes um, the players would also fall. But a fall would not necessarily mean that the other fighter gets a point. That's right. 45 from the Korean. Now it's 6 to 2. At 1 minute and 37 seconds left for this third round featherweight division. Looks like Kim byung Ook will win it. He looks very, very relaxed. I guess this is basically the trademark of the Koreans. They're quite relaxed and they just suddenly would explode to a kick. So in this sport, the chief referee takes charge of the match and in the corners, there are four corner referees. They are holding electronic scoring mechanisms and when two referees press the button of the scoring mechanism, it makes a point. That's a warning for holding, I think. And 40 seconds left for this third round. Again, Korea 6, Iran 2. I guess the Korean fighter can basically just wait because he's got 25 seconds now. 25 seconds left. He's got longer legs also. Yes, be better range. Good turning side. And it registers as a point, Ricky. What's a turning side, Carol? Turning side, well, that was the kick a while ago that you saw. Basically, it's almost like a side kick, but the difference is that um, the, uh, the kicker would just turn. It's now 7-2. to two. And that's the end of the third round. And Kim byung Wook of Korea defeats Bijan Mugahanlu of Iran. 7-2. to two. And you see Ricky there on the scoreboard. Iran has this... Um, small little dot beside uh, on the top um, row of the scoreboard and that is a warning and Korea gets Before that fight Kim byung ho declared the winner he proceeds to the finals and will fight the winner of the USA Italy semi-final match